Water Safety Plan Drinking water is an essential basis for life. However, many people around the world lack access to clean drinking water. External risks such as climate change, agriculture or land use conflicts, but also internal risks like poor maintenance, accidents or lack of communication can endanger the safety of our drinking water. So that water suppliers can provide clean drinking water, the World Health Organization, the WHO, has developed the Water Safety Plan concept, or WSP. This is intended to detect potential hazards and hazardous events in the supply system as early as possible, to manage the resulting risks with targeted measures. The first step in implementing a water safety plan is to establish a dedicated team that is capable and authorized to take action. The necessary resources of time and money must be made available to team members. The task of the team is to independently develop the individual water safety plan and implement it under normal operating conditions. A competent WSP team represents different areas of expertise in the water supply system. At least one member must be involved in daily operations. External personnel from the health department, an engineering office or the Chamber of Agriculture should be involved to avoid operational blindness. The description of the water supply system is the basis of any water safety plan. This includes information on the catchment area, water production, treatment, storage and distribution. In describing the system, the WSP team can usually refer to existing documents, such as flow diagrams, technical drawings or expert reports. This is followed by the identification of hazards and hazardous events within the water supply system. These can be biological, chemical, physical or radiological in nature. The WSP team determines for each combination of hazard and hazardous event the likelihood of occurrence and the possible severity of damage, and estimates the risk from this. Then, the WSP team determines appropriate actions to address each issue. A distinction must be made between one-off measures, such as the rehabilitation of a defective wellhead, or the removal of dangerous goods from a warehouse and permanent measures such as filtration or UV disinfection of drinking water in treatment plants. Through regular observations, controls and measurements, the WSP team ensures that the measures are properly implemented and effective. These steps are called operational monitoring and verification in the WSP concept. It is important in the development of a water safety plan that each step and outcome are documented. Because a water safety plan is never finished, it should be implemented permanently and regularly updated and improved by the WSP team. A successfully implemented water safety plan uncovers and addresses the vulnerabilities in the water supply system, provides information for necessary investments, and promotes cooperation between water suppliers and authorities. Because the common goal is safe drinking water for consumers. For more information on the Water Safety Plan, visit these websites.